Hey, oh. check this out. I am Martu, and you are not. <laughs> this is Cyphers. This. So what I'm telling you guys about is something that's in the making. I only say it once because I, I kind of want to just be quiet about it and do it. But um, my son's grandmother, uh, not my mother because my mother's passed, rest in peace. But um, his mom's mother has been, you know, real sick and um, she'll have insurance and she needs to get um, surgery for cataracts so she can see. You know, so that way when she's at home, she can be self-independent. You know, she can run her own business, be on the computer. She can, you know, go exercise and do the things that she wants to do. So, my mom being passed, I feel like I, if I could do anything in the past to make my mom still be here, I would. But I can't, but I can do something to help out here. I don't want my son to, he's going to already lose his grandmother anyway, but I don't want, because everybody dies, but... I want him to be to be able to enjoy her more and for her to be able to enjoy them more, you know, my kids. So basically in a nutshell, and for other people in the community that might be going through some things, our elders that uh, need some help because they don't have health insurance or whatever, we're going to do a health benefit show where I'd like to do it at, because we haven't confirmed it yet, is the Electric Tea Garden. So I'm going to talk to uh, my homeboy Patrick about it and see if we can make it happen and um, have artists that I've already spoke to so I can tell you who's going to be on the bill even though we haven't confirmed the bill. It's going to be, uh, I'm going to perform, uh, my homeboy uh, DL, he's going to perform, Silver Shadow D is going to perform, um, Illism's going to perform, that's my homeboy in Tacoma, he used to be my DJ, he insane MC, do his thing now. Google him, check him out, but Illism, out in Tacoma, he's going to be performing. And so those are who I'd like to get else on the bill is Silent Lambs, having confirmed, so I'm going to talk to them. And um, I would like to get a son, so um, this is all in the making, but, you know, we want to, as artists, do something to just help out our elders, you know what I'm saying? And do something positive with our talent, you know what I'm saying? So that show is uh, in the making. We keep it posted on that. We're trying to get it done before the end of the year. So we want everybody to come out and support. You know what I'm saying? And try to do something good with our talent. You know? Wolf Path. Okay. <coughs> well, I'm going to talk about that no more because I don't even want to stroke my ego like the Cypress. Is this something good to do? Uh, if you didn't, you yes, understand. Yeah, on the floor, sleep yeah, on the floor. Roots. Get familiar. What? Get familiar. And cut to commercial, nigga. How long is that? I could probably go through that, man. It's cool. Minor disclaimer. Three, four minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a good thing. <laughs> I made in Vegas. Is it yours? Okay. Typically, you make music to move ass or to make money. But every beat's different. And every beat is different. But please do one thing. When you make it, don't make it for yourself. Ooh. Yeah. Because yeah. honestly enough, I typically don't write too much personal music. <laughs> I'm just saying, as an artist, artist, it's, an, it's, a, it's a means of an expression, but you express yourself. But you don't have to do such, you don't have to do so in vain. In, in vain. Just, just give it to us. So don't make something you know, that you, you want to hold on to. You know, and be prideful. Yeah, release it. It'll be fine. Yeah. And if, and if it's really good, it'll come back to you. <laughs> and that little public service announcement is done. Cyphers. <laughs> Cyphers. <laughs> Some of the four. <laughs> you know, I, I write for other people too, bro. Do you? Yeah. What do you what do you want to write most? Have you have you written the project that you're what that you're actually most proud of already? Are you I'm just gonna put it out there. Because I mean I mean as a from a, a and I'm a writer from a writing yeah. perspective, yeah. I've yet to do that. And and I got a lot of, I, I got a few projects that I'm way to do. Mm -hmm. Like I'm like uh, I, if I wrote that, we'd have to start you know thinking about production right now and, and 45 you know guys on, on a crew and a key grip dude and all kinds of shit. Yeah. You know, publicist, all that. Mm -hmm. And I'm not gonna write that one yet. Yeah. You know, that's the franchise joint. <laughs> yeah. But what have you written what you're most proud of? 
I have written, uh, I've written a couple, like my monumental ones. My, my projects span on the, the uh, uh, Prince from the County of Kings is going to be number seven, Creme de la Creme is going to be eight. Group projects, um, there's three, big CDs, a total of 19. Um, so you've already spit, you've already done with your most right um, I've done some things that are like my key moments, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I have a, a song called uh, Live My Life that it, it, I just didn't release it. I mean, the reason why I, I, I don't release stuff is because I like do a project and I'll be like, okay, it's going to be like 15 choices, 17 choices, but I'll record like 25. So then I got to pick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so that's the natural process. process. That's the natural the ones process. That, yes, the ones that are left over, they're, they're the natural process. Yeah. You know, and then so I've done a couple of projects where I've released those. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, like, I call them like the law sessions, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, like, be more hyperbolic. You know, that was the project. So, um, the projects that stand out the most to me are three. Um, it's one called, uh, my first one, Me and Mrs. Home, because I just remember writing it and the whole just, the love that I had, you know what I'm saying, the fun. The reason why I'm excited about Creme de la Creme is because it reminds me of that. When I was writing and getting prepared for that, that's how I feel about Creme de la Creme. Okay. Me and Mrs. Funk was just fun, it's man. Fun it was days. like, it was my first project. So uh, there's that one. My second project um, called uh, Interphone Tropolis 98206. And then um, a project that I had called, uh, it's, it's uh, two joints. There was Misunderstood 1 and Misunderstood 2. Nice. And it's uh, Misunderstood 2 is called Back Against the Wall. And that one is be, I, I, it's my favorite because I wrote that during a time where I was just going through so much turmoil. So when people listen to it, it's, it's kind of a dark album. The cover's dark. It's just like a picture of me like with my shirt off, but it's a black and white picture that's real dark. I got like a cabby hat on that covers my eyes, you know what I'm saying? So it's just real dark. Real dark, real dark right? Yeah. So, um, but it, it was a period in my life that I made through. You know what I'm saying? And when I look back at that and I listen to that and I, and I express on that, you know, that's like one of my most favorites, you know what I'm saying? Crim de la Crim is going to be like the next one, and then, shoot, I don't know, after that, man, I got ideas, man, I just, that's why I write with other people, <coughs> I write for a female in New York, um, uh, her OC name is, uh, yeah, Ghostwriter, nice, um, her name is uh, Sexy, it's because I haven't, I can't find, sometimes I can't find female MCs, you know what I'm saying, and I just had a homegirl that was just like, I went to the studio, I rap, and I was like, mm -hmm, whatever, write me a rap, write me a rap, and I was like, yeah, whatever. So I wrote one. I was like, okay, here we go. I wrote it. And I was like, but I didn't know how to, you know, you had never rap before, so this is what I did. I write the lyrics down, I gave it the lyrics, I recorded the song, we rapping it, and I was like, this is how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Say it like that. Yeah, I was kinda like I turn, say how I wrote it. <laughs> say how you wrote it. Say exactly. <laughs> So, um, exactly. But you know what? Hey, she was like, <laughs> as far as emulating it, how I did it, the first time, the very first track that she did, she was like 85% there. And I was like, wow. You know? And so, um, she's you just find like, easier writing for people? Uh, you know, find it a, an easier release. Yeah, because, you know, I could do stuff that I normally wouldn't do, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's some things I probably wouldn't experiment with. You know what I'm saying? So I'll go ahead and do that.